Good afternoon, food lovers, and welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today, we are going plant-based, the other side of what we've been doing with keto. Now, some people may not always benefit from always eating meat. Athletes like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Nate Diaz have all changed their diets to plant-based. They found that they had better performance, more energy, and still get enough protein to feed their muscles. I will be going through a recipe that has roasted squash, crispy sage, and Italian sausage parpadel. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is let's cook our sage. Um, I don't know if you if you guys have worked with sage, but it's very, very fragrant, very um, very earthy. I really like sage. Do you like sage, Jerome? Yes, I do. So yummy. So I have about I don't know 15 leaves or so. We're just going to crisp it up. So let's go over here. Turn my skillet on. So I have it on medium heat here. Just gonna put some olive oil, make sure it's olive oil. And let's just do a nice drizzle and get that heated. In the meantime, I'm just gonna go and put some water in a pot because we are going to be cooking parfidel. And parfidel really, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. It's just fancy pasta. <laughs> it's, all, it's all the same pasta, right? But parfidel is actually the flat pasta it's wider than fettuccine and it's really good for more heartier sauce, um, sauces so i'll show you guys what that looks like and you always want to make sure you have lots and lots of water in your for your pot because pasta needs a lot of water to cook right you don't want it in a little pot it's not going to cook evenly it's going to get all sticky so let's get this over here get our pot going so this is what the parpadel looks like. It's flat. Of course, if you don't have this type of pasta, you can just use any noodle you want. I don't know, there's some other broad egg noodles that work really well. Or just even fettuccine works well. So let's get this started. I uh, have my salt ready. Oh, and make sure that when you add your salt to your water, make sure that the water is actually boiling. You don't want the salt in too early because then it actually just falls down to the bottom of the pot and then it just burns and it's such a waste. So make sure that your water is boiling first. Okay, so our pan is hot now. Let's test it first. Oh yeah, you hear that sizzle? Okay, we're just gonna fry it lightly. We want that aroma to come out. Okay, there we go. And look at it. Look at it. It's turning bright already. Can you see that, Jerome? Let's see. Let me ask the audience. Can you guys see Can that? you guys see it? Oh, yes. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're supposed to crisp it for about five minutes. Let's see what fancy tools I have here. Okay. Oh, if you guys notice, look at this drawer. It's just a complete mess. If you know how to organize it, let me know in the comments below because I don't know how. <laughs> organize it. Yeah, organize it. Okay, so we just want it crispy on both sides. Meanwhile, while that's crisping up, I'm just going to go over here, Jerome. We're going to be using some leeks in, um, in our Italian sausage parpadel. But when you buy leeks, make sure that you buy leeks with a big stock. This one has a small stock, so it's not a very good one, but this is what I was, I was able to find in the store. The green part here is actually not edible. I mean, you can eat it, but it's actually pretty bitter, so you don't want this in your pasta because it'll just ruin your dish. So you wanna cut that off. Did you know that, Jerome? No, I didn't know that. No. Okay, so I think this is okay. Okay, so how, and look, it, it's such a small piece, it's such a waste, but it's so yummy. You guys really need to try. But this is a root vegetable, so it does grow in the soil. So how to clean it is you want to actually cut it in half. And this one here is actually not too bad. There isn't a lot of dirt in between, but let's make sure that we rinse it very well because it could be so dirty sometimes. Basically, this is pretty much a big, big onion. I'm just going to remove this, Jerome. Let's remove this here. 
We don't want it to burn. It already smells good. Oh, I know, right? Crispy sage. Who would have thought to crisp up your sage? Ah. Okay. So that's good. Oh, one more. In the meantime, you want to let's just chop this up lightly. And then, you know, I'm just going to add some more onion in here just for a little bit more texture. Just because I like onion, right? Tastes the same. And we're going to cut it just like this. You can cut it into smaller pieces, but I like seeing whole onion. I like to see my food. Sometimes I just don't want to always make it so fine. So let's actually put this into our pan over here, Jerome. Okay. And then we're going to cook this again. Just over medium. There we go. And let that cook it just until it softens. That will be about five or six minutes. I'm just going to change utensils. Jerome. I'm using my induction one, so I don't want to scratch my pan. You can add a little bit of salt to season, just a tad bit of salt. Oh look, my water is boiling. This is the time where, when you want to add your salt. We'll just add some salt. Add our pasta in. Might as well cook it now. Have you ever tried plant-based, Jerome? No. This is my first time today. This is your first time? Plant-based. Okay, do you know what plant-based is? Okay, so plant-based diet is primarily what it sounds like, plant-based. So it's um, eating foods that are pretty much grown from the ground. Um, you want to stay away from dairy. You want to stay away from meats. And uh, that includes eggs as well and fish. So you, that's, And the benefits of it really is that um, some people say they feel more energized, less fatigued. You know when you eat a big steak, sometimes you just feel so tired after. Correct, yeah. That face. That's what it sounds like. And what else? Less inflammation because you're not eating meat, right? Yeah. So there's a whole list of benefits. But the, the one thing that you might be lacking from going plant-based is your vitamin B12. Mm. So you just want to make sure that you can maybe take a supplement or you can also add some nutritional yeast to your food just to increase your vitamin B12 levels. There you go, everybody. There you go. Thank you for that education. <laughs> I've, I've actually tried plant-based before. So and how, how, how many weeks do you have to do that? Like it? Every week or it's you know it's a lifestyle it's not like okay. there's no time limit of how you have to do it Jerome was asking how long do you have to go you know it's really your choice if you want to try something else if you want to see feel better about your body sometimes people are just very like they have brain fog switching your diet up to see how you feel doesn't hurt right okay. so I've tried the plant-based diet and um, I enjoyed it and uh, the only thing was that I really, I like meat. Maybe so, meat. no, um, I would do it again. But you really have to be prepared to, when you're going plant-based. Only because you have to make sure you have all your vegetables. You have to make sure you have your vitamins too. Um, you have to kind of make sure you have enough protein, right? Because when you're going plant-based, you're limiting your protein. So you just have to make sure you have that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to add one tablespoon of tomato paste here into our pan. And then we're going to add lots and lots of garlic. Who doesn't like garlic? Garlic is actually really good for you too. So I have about, I don't know, four cloves. Put it in my garlic press. This is amazing, by the way, just because you can just put your garlic in here so fast, less chopping. I actually got introduced to this by Shelly Karpiak. 
she brought her uh, garlic press over, and I just loved it, loved it so much. So I've been using mine religiously ever since. Okay. There you go. There you go. How easy was that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to cook this just like that. Now, it's getting softened. So what you want to do is you want to add some vegetable stock just to kind of make a sauce now, right? Wow. Yeah, look how easy that was. Mm -hmm. So I have some vegetable stock here, Jerome. Do you like my wine cup, by the yeah, way? Right, For someone right, who doesn't right. drink wine, right? Yeah, yeah. Make sure, you, make sure you, it's not a wine. Oh yeah, no, this is not wine. It's it's a vegetable. Wine is a no no. Okay, no no in plant base. Okay, wait. If you think about, let's break it down. Okay. Wine is made out of grapes. Yes. That's plants. Yeah, there you go. So what? So it makes that? sense, right? And then, it's, yeah, it can still, yeah. That's why they put on foods, right? <gasps> That's what they put on foods, Jerome. That's You're right. right. Okay, so I, I haven't read up too much about wine. You, you are right, Jerome. Right. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he was saying yes. the alcohol will evaporate. It's made out of plants, barley, is, you know, with beer and stuff. So you technically can drink it. I haven't researched it, so I can't yes or no. So it's up to you. <laughs> Jerome, that's a good point. Yes. Okay, let's increase this. So this will make our sauce. Look how good that looks. Yes. But let's zest this up. So what we're going to do is actually just some make it kind of fresher. We're going to add a zest of one lemon. Okay. I've never used this before. I got this from Pampered Chef. Ah. You got it. I got it. Yeah. You, got it. <laughs> you know, I see them zest the lemon in a on TV, right? Mm -hmm. And they make it look so nice, but I'm just like, I don't know where, where am I? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Look at that. What you want to do is you want to just get the outer layer of your lemon, not the white part. The white part is very bitter. So that's what I'm just trying to do is just get the, get the zest. And it just makes it so fresh, so bright. Do you like lemon zest, Jerome? Um, no, but... I like lemon. You like lemon? Okay. I put lemon and uh, soy sauce together. You put lemon and soy sauce together? Yes. Why do you, and what do you, how do you eat it then? With fish. Oh, with fish. Okay, Jerome, you just gotta be on the show and, and cook me something that you like. Because we always talk about the foods that, you know, <laughs> me and RJ like. What does Jerome like? He likes One lemon and episode. soy sauce. One special episode. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Who do we have online, Jerome? Um, we have uh, yeah, five people online. Oh, we have five people. We got uh, Kevin Kramer. Kevin Kramer. Hi, Kevin. We got the Bernaris. Oreo. Oh, Shauna, Shauna Dram. Yes. Awesome. Hey, guys, welcome. If you've guys tried plant-based diets, let me know and tell me what recipe you've tried and what you, what has really worked for you. Yeah, it's okay. long weekend. So yeah, it's long watching. weekend. So um, I, I have some veggie sausage here. You can omit this if you don't have this. If you just want to go straight up vegetarian, that's fine. But I, I'm just going to add it just for texture. So let's add it to our sauce here. Great, Mary. Yeah, it is. Pasta will take about, I don't know, seven or eight minutes or so to cook. But we just want to make sure that our sauce is ready too. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to thicken up the sauce. We added a lot of um, stock to it. So we just and some tomato paste. We just want it to be nice and thick, so then when we toss it together with um, our pasta, it's nicely coated. I'm just gonna give this a taste. Let's see how it tastes for now. I didn't add any salt, Jerome. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> I didn't. Add, no, I didn't. I saw it. Oh yeah, I did add salt. I added just a pinch. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try it. I think it tastes good. 
you know, it just needs a little bit of black pepper. So let's add some black pepper. And there we go. Okay, that looks good. And then our pasta, let's try that. Almost done. Mm -hmm. Almost mm. done. So to save some time, I actually roasted my butternut squash in advance. All I did was cut this up into cubes, like half inch cubes or so, put it onto a, um, a cookie sheet, and I just roasted it at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes or so. And that's all I did. So we're going to add this actually. Oh. We're going to add it to our sauce so it's nice and coated and I like butternut squash it's a nice summer squash um, it's pretty sweet I think it's sweeter than a yam but actually it has less carbs than a yam so I like to actually add this include into my diet it's been a while since I had butternut squash but yes less carbs so it's a nice option for you if you're watching your carb intake did you know that Jerome no yeah less carbs less sometimes carbs. I like to roast and just sprinkle it with a little bit of um, xylitol or stevia mm -hmm. just so it's nice and sweet let that cook cook some more and this is almost done actually you know what you want this to cook your pasta to, when it's about a minute or two before it's done cooking you actually stop it and the reason for that is because when you put your pasta into the sauce it's still going to continue cooking so you actually want to stop this about a minute before so I'm just going to drain it okay. and make sure you guys clean up as you go along right that way you have less of a mess later So I'll get my strainer through. Okay, let's strain this. And when you strain, make sure you strain away from you because in case it splashes, you don't want it to splash towards you, right? So dump your water away from you. We'll bring this here just like this look as you can see it's almost thick right this is what we want we don't want it very liquidy very thick is what we want so I think it needs just another minute or so and Jerome look over here notice that I actually have a little bit of cooking water reserved mm -hmm. and the reason for that is because sometimes um, you want to add it to the sauce just to kind of marry things over right? yes. because if you just add up straight water sometimes it doesn't it doesn't combine nicely but the starch in the pasta water marries the pasta together with the sauce so let's give this another taste oh that's good you know what it needs though? Chili flakes. If you like a little bit of heat, so just add a tad. Not too much because my kids actually don't like spice. I just added a little bit. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna turn this down to low. Oh my gosh, this is the hard part. Mixing it together. But look at that. Okay, so you want to toss it. Yeah. You're live now. You're I'm live. live. Oh, gosh. Now you guys can see me tossing this. Yep. Try not to make a mess. <laughs> and this is a big dish. It feeds about, I would say, four to six people. Depends, right? Maybe four men. 
maybe seven women. Who knows? <laughs> but look at that, right? Actually, I don't think we need any extra liquid. See, look at that. When was the last time you had pasta, Jerome? It's been so long for me. Uh, maybe two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? What we kind had of? Jollibee spaghetti. Wait, you had Jollibee spaghetti? Yeah, my okay. My daughters love those. What is the secret? I usually secret? cook my own spaghetti at home. You do? The Filipino spaghetti style. Mm -hmm. And they love that more than the Jollibee spaghetti. Okay. So, but last two weeks ago, or two weeks ago, we went to Jollibee. Bought some. Well, you bought some. Okay, so this is good to go. I'm gonna, let's put this on a nice, let's see. Let's put it on a nice plate for everyone. Okay, so I'll see how, I'll show you guys the final product. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy, <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay, I, I've seen this on TV, so you guys want to take the pasta. Let's see. Turn it around. <laughs> Turn it around. <laughs> hang it. on, hang yeah, on. <laughs> hang on. It's... What's that? Put my... Okay. Yeah. It's a really heavy, yeah. heavy pan. I don't know how other cooks do it. Like, wow, that was so heavy. Okay, let's take your pasta again. Let's try this. Twirl it. Hmm, it's not working. <laughs> I think it only works on the small pastas. It only works on the small ones, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, Jerome, you're right. So, let's just plate it. Okay. Let's add some more, more of the filling. I like to see filling, right? And then, what you can do is you can put on some basil. Were you going to say oregano? I was going to say oregano. No. Basil is good too. Fresh basil always works best, but I couldn't find any at the store, so I'm just going to use some dried basil, just a sprinkle, and then we're going to top it off with our crispy sage. I'm more excited about the sage than anything. There. Okay, and then when you present it to your loved one, excuse me, Jerome, let's actually wipe it. Let's make it look nice. Because you always show the people that you love with food, right? I mean, that's how RJ shows me his love by food. Right, RJ? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he when he makes me breakfast, I get really happy over it. That's how you can brighten someone's day, my day, anyways. Okay. Well, there you go. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, plant based. Like once again. It's primarily made out of my um, parfadel pasta, which is broad noodles. We have some roasted butternut squash. We have some plant-based sausage, um, some tomato paste, and some vegetable stock to kind of make a sauce out of it. We tossed it together, and we added on top um, some crispy sage. And there you go. How easy was that? Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye now. <laughs>